Ow, ow, fuck. Oh, shit. What the fuck? We're recording this shit? How does this fucking work? Oh, fucking dear! Today we replaced the hydraulic brake pressure switch in a 1967 MGP. We test the circuits to make sure it's the brake pressure switch and not grounds or wiring or the ignition or anything else that could go wrong on MGB, which is most things. The switch to buy is the one from Ron Francis Wiring. It's better than the original Lucas switch and it costs the same. It has greater current handling and it activates at a lower pressure. Stay away from the cheap $10 suckers or you'll probably be doing this job again soon. First thing to test is whether the lights work or not. We do that by just powering them directly. So there's a, there's a green wire and a green wire with a brown Brown stripe. Brown stripe goes to the tail lights. So you hook up a little, uh, just a wire, or an alligator clip, or something like this. Hook this up to the connector there, and then uh, touch it to something positive, like this solenoid here. If the brake lights light up, then it's not that circuit, so we're good there. Hook this back up to the switch. So now we're going to test just the switch alone. So not worrying about the ignition or any of that shit. We're just gonna put power directly from the battery to the switch. And hit the brakes. You finally have to push real hard to get them to come on, or if they don't come on at all, that's the switch. Just pull these wires off. This is a 7 8 or 22 millimeter. I doubt it's original, but so I have red. You don't need to bleed the brakes. As long as nobody steps on the pedal, got my replacement ready, just in case this is a disaster. No reason to dilly dally. The Francis is one inch. No shit on the threads, just dry. There's no torque value. You always make something like this fun. Feels pretty good. Correct tightness is however much it takes for it not to leak. So I'm gonna clean this off to make sure that any leaks become very visible. Somewhat visible. Not that not that visible. If your car is nasty like mine and won't hurt to hit it with some bristles. I'm just gonna check for leaks real quick. Right now, hitting the brakes, real hard. Oh fucking dear! No leaks. Cool. Now while we're here, it's gonna sort of half acidly attach these cables. Let's see if we have a, a working. Ah oh, shit. Uh, one side didn't fit, so I had to rig up this little thing here. But we're gonna quickly test to see if this switch works. By turning on the ignition, hitting the brakes, seeing how much pressure it takes for them to light up. Oh, not bad. Much lighter than before. Uh, now all we need to do is adapt these wires to these terminals here. But Will, what if I don't want to modify my wholly original MGB because it's worth almost $10,000? Well, I've got a solution. I dropped my cleaner spray. This is Blitz. He's a very handsome boy. These are some tips from a very talented musician called Iva May. Okay, the plan here is to make a, a little jumper with a piece of wire so we don't have to cut our original wiring because we're insane. We're insane people. Uh, the gauge needs to be the same or larger than the original stuff that's there. I think two inches, three, yeah, something about like that. I'm using 14 gauge because it's a little bit easier to work with than 16, although 16 would be fine, probably 18 would be fine, but whatever. Splice it, splice. These terminals are a bit goofier. Uh, I have another crimping tool that's not quite designed for this, but you know, it's, it looks about the same, you know? So I'm gonna give it a whirl. Bliced and diced. Competition's paying the price. Don't forget the shrink wrap. A little bit of that action. Uh, this seems like, uh, you know, this is about the size, right? Something about like that. Start big, go smaller. It's actually pretty good. Tiniest bit of movement. We'll just crush it in the old 2.8. Alright. Yeah, that's on there tight. Make sure we have the insulation clamper thing clamperized. That's not too pretty, but we've got some kick-ass shrink wrap. 
Hit the shrink wrap with a heat gun. Try and make sure your workspace has a bunch of shit all over the floor. That's how people know you're real. Ow. Ow, fuck. Allegedly these things just uh, slip on in. Tab on the back so it clips. Ooh, a nice little click. Cool, we've got our pigtail. We got the new hotness switch, we got the new hotness wiring clip pigtail thing. I'm gonna spray these suckers with a bit of fluid film because that's what I do. It protects them from corrosion. I don't think it matters which post is plugged into what. That's it. The added length of these wires, I might just throw a little zip tie on them just to keep them from flopping about. What the fuck? Maybe use a better zip tie than I have. A little extra fluid film just for paranoia. Oh, it's gonna be too much. Yeah, okay, well. Pedal feel is good. Brakes are working. All right, that's pretty much it. If you wanna test it out, just uh, drive into traffic and slam on your brakes and if somebody rear ends you, you didn't do it right. <laughs>